A little over 24 hours have passed since President Donald Trump signed an executive order temporarily restricting entry into the U.S. from several predominantly Muslim countries. So we've been hearing from refugees here who are waiting for family members to join them and they're just, they're, they're devastated. Nina Zelich is executive director for refugee services at Baltimore-based Lutheran Immigration and Refugee Service. But after Thursday, there'll be no more refugees coming in. Um, for at least 120 days. So we're, we're making sure that the refugees who can still come in for the next few days can and that there's not you know, misinformation at the airports in terms of detaining them. Zelich is worried about the message the president's order is sending to the world. It's very disappointing. It's un-American. It's not who we are. Critics say the order amounts to a Muslim ban, but the administration argues the policy is aimed at screening for potential terrorists from nations where terrorism thrives. There are many groups out there, uh, Islamic terrorist groups and fundamentalist groups that want to uh, do harm to the U.S. And now they have a perfect recruiting tool for saying, hey, listen, the U.S. doesn't care about you. Ruben Chandrasekhar is executive director of the International Rescue Committee. His organization has settled 600 refugees since October 1st and says the extreme vetting the president is pushing is already happening. Uh, they go through anywhere from one year to three years of security checks. Chandra Sekar says the IRC is now starting a grassroots campaign in an effort to reverse the ban. The IRC will also be taking many actions. Uh, we'll be uh, meeting with our elected representatives wherever we have offices across the country. Chandra Sekar tells me that the IRC had hoped to settle 400 refugees here in Maryland over the next four months, but of course now those plans are on hold. Reporting live from Federal Hill, Vanessa Herring, WBAL, TV 11 News.